Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to start learn, latest version of Laravel, which is Laravel 6. And in this part, we will learn how to use Yatra data tables in Laravel 6. This is because first we have learned data tables with Laravel 6, this is because data tables has provide us search, pagination, ordering of data, sorting of data, without write any line of code. So, first we have learn, how can we implement, jQuery data tables plugin in Laravel 6 framework, by using Yatra data tables package. Now let's, start learning this topic, so this is our testing database, in this we have one, sample data table, with five table column like, ID, first name, last name, created at and updated at. In this table, we have already inserted some data, so we will load this data in data tables with Laravel 6 framework, using Yatra data tables package. This is our working folder, first we need to download latest version of Laravel framework, for this we have to go command prompt. In command prompt first we have to go directory, in which we want to download and install Laravel 6 framework. After this, we have to run composer command, here we have use composer to manage Laravel 6 framework dependency. First for download Laravel 6 framework, your PHP version must greater than 7.2, otherwise you cannot download latest version of Laravel, in our system PHP version is greater than 7.2. So for download Laravel 6 framework, here we have write command like composer create project, prefer dist laravel slash laravel and folder name laravel 6. This command will make laravel 6 folder in defined directory, and it will download laravel 6 framework and installed it. After this, we want to download and install latest version of Yatra data tables package, for this here again we have write composer require, Yatra slash Laravel data tables oracle. This command will download latest version of Yatra data tables package, now we want to install in Laravel 6 framework. So we have go to config folder, and open app.php file. In this file, we have go to provider key, and here we have to define auto loaded service providers, so here we have write yadra slash, data table slash data table service provider class. Same way we want to find class aliases, so we have to go aliases keys, and here we have write data tables keys, with value like yadra slash data tables slash, facade slash data tables class. So this way we can install yadra package in Laravel 6 framework. Now we want to make database connection in Laravel 6 framework, so we have open.environment file. And in this file, we have define MySQL database configuration like, host name set to localhost, database name set to testing, 
username set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection, now we want to make model file, so we have go to command prompt. And here we have write command like, php artisan make, double colon model with name sample data, this command will make sample data model file under app folder. So, we have go to app folder, and open sample data.php file. In this file, we have write protected dollar fillable variable, is equal to array, with table column name like, first name and last name. Now we want to make controller file, so we have go to command prompt, and here we have write php artisan make, double colon controller, with name like sample controller, resource model is equal to sample data. This command will make, crud controller under, app folder, slash http folder, slash controllers folders with name sample controller dot php file now we have opened this file so here we can see here some inbuild method has been already make this all method for all crud operation in this controller first we want to import data tables class so here we have write use statement, with data tables, it will import Yadra data tables package into this file. Now we have go to resources folder, and go to views folder and open view file like sample data.blade.php file. In this file, we have already included jQuery library, bootstrap library, jQuery data tables library and bootstrap data tables library. Here first we have make one table, with id is equal to user table, we will initialize jQuery data tables plugin on this table. In this table, we have make three table column like first name, last name, and action. Now we have moved to write jQuery code. So here we have write dollar with table id user table, with data table method, this method will initialize jQuery data table plugin on this table. Under this method, first we have write processing option set to true, it will enable table process table data. Below this we have write, server side option which have been set to true, it will enable server side processing. In third option, we have write Ajax, and under this we have write URL option, which has been set to Laravel expression. And between this expression, we have write root method, and under this we have write sample.index, it will send Ajax request to index method of sample controller. Below this, we have write, columns option, which has been used to define table column details. Under this array, we have write data option set to first name, and name set to first name, here we have defined first table column details. Same way for define last name table column, here we have add new node, 
with data option set to last name, and name option set to last name. For define action table column details under data tables, so here we have add new node, and under this we have write data option set to action, name option set to action. For stop this table column sorting, here we have set orderable option set to false. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so we have go to index method of sample controller, and here we have write if statement. And under condition we have write, request variable with Ajax method, this condition will be true, if this method has received Ajax request. Under this if block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to sample data modal class with latest method with get method. This code will return data from sample data table in array format and store in dollar data variable. Now we have write return statement with data tables class with a method and under this we have write dollar data variable. After this, we have write add column method with two argument, in first argument we have write action table column name, and in second argument we have write call back function with dollar data argument. Under this function, we want to define edit and delete button, so here we have write dollar button variable is equal to, button tag with type is equal to button name is equal to edit id is equal to dollar data variable with id object class is equal to edit and in button text we have write edit here this class name we will use as selector in jquery code and we will fetch value of id attribute for edit after this we have again we write dollar button variable and under this we have append html code like button tag with type is equal to button name is equal to delete id is equal to dollar data variable with id object class is equal to delete and in button text we have write delete here we will use delete class as selector, and id attribute value will be fetch in jQuery code for delete data operation. After define edit and delete button code under this dollar button variable, now we have write return statement with dollar button variable, it will display edit and delete button under action table column. For new column, now we want to define column which should not be escaped for this here we have write raw columns method and under this we have write table column name action lastly we have write make method with true argument it will return unsave model instance after this we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write sample data view file name it will load the sample data view file in browser now we want to set root of all method of sample controller so we have go to roots folder web.php file here we have write root class with resource method with two argument in first argument we have write sample and in second argument we have write sample controller this code will set root of all method of sample controller now we want to run laravel application for this we have go to command prompt in command prompt here we have write php artisan serve command it will start laravel server 
and return base URL of Laravel application. Now we have check output in browser. So, here we have write Laravel application base URL, slash sample, so it has load sample data table data in jQuery data table plugin. Here we can see first name and last name data has been load in jQuery data table plugin in Laravel 6 framework, and here we can also see edit and delete button in all row. Here we can perform all data tables features like searching of data, data pagination, column sorting of data and many more, this all functionality we can done without write any line of code. So, this way we can implement jQuery data table plugin with Laravel 6 framework by using Yadra data table package. In next part, we will see how to insert data into MYSQL table using Ajax and Bootstrap model in Laravel 6 framework. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.